Diving into the vessel space, there is an extra planet called Proxima b that has a makeup very similar to Earth and is located in the habitable zone of its star, Proxima Centauri. This star is notable for being the closest star system to our own after the Sun. This red dwarf star is situated 4.23 light years away from our Sun, making it a fascinating target for astronomical studies. The fact that Proxima b has conditions resembling those on Earth piques the interest of scientists and enthusiasts alike. Recently, advancements in technology, particularly the new James Webb Space Telescope, have enabled astronomers to detect lights emanating from the exoplanet Proxima b. This discovery could serve as compelling evidence that the planet is inhabited by extraterrestrials, igniting excitement and curiosity about the possibilities of life beyond our planet. However, this finding is just one of the numerous exciting discoveries that the James Webb Space Telescope could offer us. As we explore what our new telescope may uncover on Proxima b, it raises important questions about the feasibility of sending a manned mission to this distant exoplanet. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into this mysterious discovery by the James Webb. If you're passionate about keeping up with the latest developments in the universe and its myriad wonders, consider subscribing to our channel. Don't forget to like this video and turn on the notification bell to stay informed. Now, what exactly is an exoplanet? An exoplanet is defined as a planet that orbits a star other than our sun, which means it exists outside the boundaries of our solar system. Among the exoplanet scientists have been researching, none have drawn as much interest as Proxima b. The star associated with this exoplanet, Proxima Centauri, is classified as a red dwarf, characterized by its relatively cool temperature of 2,872 degrees Celsius. It is significantly less massive than our Sun and emits only about 500 times less light. The proximity of Proxima b to its star is crucial because it lies within the habitable zone, where conditions may be suitable for life as we know it. This zone is typically where liquid water can exist on a planet's surface, a key ingredient for life. Proxima b has features that are remarkably Earth-like, including continents, oceans, and potentially even life itself. The presence of auroras could give the planet a greenish hue in its atmosphere, resulting from intense flares emitted by its star. These stellar flares create a complex magnetic environment that might foster unique atmospheric phenomena. Interestingly, Proxima b is tidally locked, meaning the same side of the planet always faces its star, similar to how our moon orbits Earth. This results in a twilight zone where conditions might be more favorable for life. The surface temperature on Proxima b could range from minus 90 degrees Celsius to 30 degrees Celsius, creating a wide array of environments. Completing one full orbit around Proxima Centauri takes approximately 11 Earth days, indicating a much shorter year than we experience on Earth. Additionally, Proxima b has a gravity that is about 1.3 times greater than that of Earth, which would have implications for any potential life forms that may develop there. However, scientists remain uncertain about the exact nature of Proxima b's atmosphere. If it exists, it may contain essential ingredients such as carbon dioxide, various minerals, and water, all vital for the biochemical cycles necessary for life. Despite the excitement surrounding Proxima b, sending manned missions there remains a significant challenge due to the vast distance involved. Nevertheless, a project known as Breakthrough Starshot is under development, supported by billionaire Yuri Milner. This project aims to create nanoprobes capable of traveling at 20% the speed of light. These probes would be designed to visit Proxima Centauri, offering an unprecedented opportunity to study our neighboring star system up close. The proposed speed of these nanoprobes is around 16,000 kilometers per second, which would allow them to reach Proxima Centauri in a few decades. Such a mission could provide invaluable insights for future generations, unlocking secrets about Proxima Centauri and its intriguing exoplanet, Proxima b. So, what might these nanoprobes uncover when they finally arrive? Interestingly, we have already begun receiving signals from Proxima Centauri. These signals were detected by the Parkes Radio Telescope during investigations into the star, which was emitting unusually strong flares that captured the attention of astronomers, including Anderson from the University of California. He led the Breakthrough Listen Project, which aims to search for technological civilizations in space, furthering our quest to understand if we are alone in the universe. 
This initiative is part of the broader search for extraterrestrial intelligence, commonly known as SETI. The project involves the collection and storage of various signals from space, creating a database for future research. The data collected has led to significant discoveries, particularly when Shine Smith, a diligent college student at UC Berkeley, started analyzing the signals. During his work, he stumbled upon a curious narrowband radio frequency emission at 982,000 megahertz, which was hidden within the observations of Proxima Centauri. This exciting discovery caught the attention of Sophia Sheik from Penn State University, who took over the signal analysis. She remarked that this particular signal represents one of the most thrilling finds of the Breakthrough Listen project, as it deviates from typical patterns we have observed before. The Parkes Radio Telescope operates by detecting signals over 53-minute periods. During these sessions, the telescope points at Proxima Centauri and then switches to observe other areas of the sky to confirm that any potential signals originate from the star itself. Sophia explained that during approximately three hours of observation, a signal consistently returned during five of the 30-minute intervals when the telescope was aimed at Proxima. Conversely, when the telescope moved away, the signal vanished, raising intriguing questions about its source. This reinforces the significance of the discovery. Astronomer Deer Ritt of the University of Pennsylvania highlighted that observing this type of signal that doesn't come from Earth strongly suggests the presence of advanced technology. Ongoing analysis of these signals aims to confirm their extraterrestrial origin, with the assistance of the James Webb Space Telescope, which is being directed towards Proxima b. Scientists believe it may soon detect artificial light from the planet, providing additional evidence of a possible civilization. Abraham Loeb from Harvard University emphasized that if Proxima b emits artificial nighttime illumination reaching 5% of the natural daytime illumination, the James Webb could detect this light with an 85% certainty, which would be groundbreaking. Proxima b is significantly smaller and dimmer than our sun, which affects the configuration of its habitable zone. This unique characteristic means that the habitable zone is much closer to the star than it is in our solar system. Proxima b orbits at a distance of approximately 4.5 astronomical units from Proxima Centauri, leading to an orbital period of about 11.2 Earth days. Proxima Centauri is known for its active nature, producing violent solar flares that could pose challenges to the potential habitability of Proxima b. Additionally, the exoplanet's close proximity to its star results in extreme temperature variations, with the daytime side being scorching hot and the nighttime side freezing cold. These drastic temperature changes could have profound implications for the planet's ability to support life. Proxima b stands out as the exoplanet that captivates the attention of astronomers and researchers due to the wealth of data gathered about it. However, it is not the only exoplanet that exhibits Earth-like conditions that may support life. Within the Milky Way galaxy alone, a total of 55 potentially habitable exoplanets have been confirmed, with many more yet to be discovered. As our technology advances, we continue to search for and identify these distant worlds. For instance, in our neighboring Andromeda galaxy, which has dimensions comparable to our own, there remains vast potential for habitable or inhabited planets. Moreover, within the larger structure of the universe, superclusters of galaxies present even more possibilities. The Milky Way belongs to the local group, a cluster of about 40 galaxies, which is itself part of the local supercluster containing roughly 100,000 galaxies. Remarkably, estimates suggest that there are around 10 million superclusters throughout the universe. This leads to profound contemplation. If the Milky Way is relatively modest in size and already has 55 confirmed potentially habitable planets, just imagine the countless habitable planets, or even those hosting life, across the infinite expanse of the observable universe. The significance of discovering exoplanets lies in its potential to deepen our understanding of our place in the cosmos and to answer fundamental questions about life and existence on other planets. The ongoing exploration of exoplanets allows us to investigate the vast diversity of planetary systems and explore the possibility of new forms of life beyond Earth. Moreover, these discoveries can enhance our comprehension of how planetary systems form and evolve over time. The implications for the search for extraterrestrial life are profound. Exoplanets serve as critical candidates for harboring life and can provide valuable information about the conditions necessary for life to thrive elsewhere. Ultimately, 
The study of exoplanets enables us to test our existing theories and models regarding the formation and evolution of planets and stellar systems, significantly advancing our understanding of the universe and our role within it. Exploring the vast expanse of our universe has always sparked human curiosity, pushing us to seek answers about our existence and the potential for life beyond Earth. The quest to discover new worlds is not just a scientific endeavor, but a philosophical one that challenges our understanding of life, habitability, and the cosmos itself. As we venture deeper into the realms of space exploration, our technologies and methodologies continue to evolve, enabling us to gain insights that were once unimaginable. Recent missions to various celestial bodies within our solar system have provided valuable data about planetary environments. For example, the Mars rovers have unveiled evidence of ancient rivers and lakes, suggesting that the red planet may have once harbored conditions suitable for life. Additionally, missions to the outer planets, such as the Juno spacecraft orbiting Jupiter and the Cassini probe studying Saturn, have revealed intricate details about their atmospheres, magnetospheres, and moons, some of which may also hold the potential for life. The diversity of these environments highlights the myriad ways in which life could potentially arise. The search for exoplanets has further revolutionized our understanding of where life might exist. Kepler's mission alone has discovered thousands of exoplanets, many of which reside in their star's habitable zones. These discoveries have expanded the definition of what constitutes a potentially habitable world, allowing scientists to consider various factors such as the presence of moons, atmospheric composition, and geological activity. One intriguing aspect of the study of exoplanets is the concept of biosignatures, indicators that suggest the presence of life. Researchers are developing techniques to analyze the atmospheres of distant worlds, looking for gases like oxygen, methane, and carbon dioxide that could indicate biological processes. The potential for using telescopes like the upcoming Extremely Large Telescope, ELT, or the Roman Space Telescope to search for biosignatures is generating excitement in the astronomical community. These observations could revolutionize our understanding of life's distribution in the universe. In addition to direct observations, the field of astrobiology has gained traction, examining the conditions that might allow life to thrive elsewhere. Scientists are studying extremophiles, organisms that can survive in extreme environments on Earth, such as deep sea hydrothermal vents and acidic lakes, to better understand the limits of life. This research informs our search for life in places previously deemed inhospitable, such as the icy moons of Jupiter and Saturn. Enceladus and Europa, in particular, are of great interest due to their subsurface oceans, which could harbor microbial life. As we look toward the future, the idea of colonizing other planets becomes increasingly plausible. Projects aimed at sending humans to Mars, such as SpaceX's Starship and NASA's Artemis program, envision a sustainable human presence on the Moon and beyond. These initiatives not only aim to push the boundaries of human exploration, but also to establish a permanent human foothold in space, paving the way for further exploration of the solar system and beyond. The potential for discovering life beyond our planet raises profound ethical and philosophical questions. What would it mean for humanity to encounter extraterrestrial life? How would we approach communication and interaction with intelligent beings? These questions are not merely speculative. They are crucial considerations for future missions. Developing frameworks for ethical engagement with extraterrestrial intelligence is a topic of growing interest among scientists and ethicists alike. Furthermore, the ongoing discoveries in the field of exoplanet research challenge our understanding of planetary systems. The presence of unusual planetary configurations, such as hot Jupiters, gas giants that orbit very close to their stars, complicates existing models of planet formation. These anomalies prompt scientists to rethink the dynamics of planetary migration and the influence of stellar interactions on planetary development. The concept of the Goldilocks zone where conditions are just right for life, is also being reevaluated. Research indicates that life might exist in a broader range of conditions than previously thought. For instance, subsurface oceans on icy bodies could provide stable environments for life, and high-energy environments, such as those found around black smokers on ocean floors, might also support unique biological systems. Public interest in space exploration has grown significantly, fueled by captivating images from telescopes, 
and the inspiring narratives of missions like the Perseverance rover and the James Webb Space Telescope. Social media platforms allow scientists to share their findings and engage with the public, fostering a global community passionate about astronomy and exploration.